Hello, hello. If you are new to my channel, thanks for coming. Hopefully you find whatever it is that you're seeking here today. And if you don't, I do hope you find it elsewhere. Uh, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of April for 2023. What we're going to do is we're going to get started with some dice and then we're going to move on to some astrology cards and then tarot cards after that. Interesting Virgo, six and six. So you've got a 12, which reduces to a three. Uh, so three, six, and 12 are going to be very important for you. Um, I do feel like things are going to be very lined up for you this month. I also think that this is going to be a month of a lot of equal give and take. I think you're going to feel very supported. And if you don't, I think you're going to find ways to communicate things um, in a very particular way to get what it is that you need. So it feels like you're being met in the middle here. This also means that uh, for some of you, you could be... Um, um, maybe receiving something that you need financially. It just feels like a lot of collaboration here. It feels like a lot of full circle stuff because whatever it is, it's really helping with your stability. Let's see what's going on. I like that. So we've got mid heaven, the IC, which is the root. And we have Mercury, which is messages. So we've got your Midheaven. We've also got the IC, or the MC and the IC. So we've got that center line going straight down the chart. And we have Mercury, uh, which is a planet that does very well in both Gemini and Virgo. So once again, maybe you're going to be very good at communicating this month. Uh, maybe communication is going to be a very central focus for you, if not thinking. Um, I think a lot of this is, uh, once again, there's this like mirrored thing going on here, because when I'm thinking of the IC and the MC, they literally are this kind of mirror of each other, because the IC is where we come from, and the midheaven is what we're aspiring to move toward, or how what where we come from uh, uh, really pushes us in that direction. So I think there's going to be a lot of stuff around um, where you've been and where you're going, maybe a lot of stuff around roots, home, and family being affected here somehow. Uh, there could be something significant or particular going on within your career. You might be negotiating something this month. But it feels like you're giving some serious thought to where you're going or what it is that you want to do. Or maybe there are things that pop up in your life for that six months that really um, allow you to move in that direction. Okay. Not expecting that. I think this is why it's going to be important for you to communicate. All right, we've got six of wands in the reverse. So I'm going to be honest, um, some of these cards are very similar to Leo's reading. I can't remember who also had the Midheaven and the IC. I feel like Cancer did as well as Gemini or Taurus maybe. So there's going to be significant readings that you need to watch or you could have people who have those signs around you or you could have them in your own chart in a significant way but this has a lot to do with once again not well i should shouldn't say once again because that was in the leo's reading but anyway uh, something i was talking about in the leo's reading was uh feelings of failure or feelings of failure to launch or feelings of uh every time you get two steps forward you feel like you're being pulled back or every time you get ahead, you feel like something sets you back. 
So I think that that's been a great concern for you. I can also see why Mercury is so heavy here because we do have a lot of swords energy. We've, we're starting off with the nine of swords in the reverse with the knight of swords under that. Uh, so this could be some heavy overthinking or some a lot of worry and a lot of concern. Um, I think that you are being pushed to speak up. I think that you're going to probably get to a point where you feel the need to speak up on something. Um, I feel like that there's something that's really troubling you or there's something that's on your mind that's been on your mind for some time. Maybe you're wanting to address significant issues that are underlying for you, especially on a mental level. Um, but there is a need to communicate and there is a need to kind of be quick on your feet with this. Or um, I want to say a, almost like address it as soon as it comes up, because I think that maybe there's a tendency here to not really immediately speak on it. And here's the thing, as, as a Virgo, you guys really love to think through things right? You like to think through things before you state something, which I think is a fabulous thing. But I think that one of the energies that you need to tap into is like not doing that. Because it feels like something that can help you balance things out in a better way is being okay to communicate these frustrations, even if they don't seem um, I don't want to say even if it seems childish to do so, but it's almost like having the freedom to be frustrated, having the freedom to express your frustration, having the freedom to express what, whatever emotion or anxiety it is that's going through you or, or what you're dealing with right now, because I think it's going to be helpful. And I think also like allowing yourself to do that is going to maybe remove this experience or this need to um, break things down to where you're making it just like super balanced and makes sense. Right. Or like not put anybody out by what you're experiencing because you guys are, you rule the sixth house. It's a sign of service. There, there really is something there where I think it's important to remember that your needs matter too. And addressing them is equally important. The next cards that we have are the high priestess in the reverse with the temperance card in the upright. Um, While I do think it's very good to be realistic, there's something so important about getting into your body this month. I mean, really physically getting into your body and being in your body and not in your mind. Because I feel like there's a bit of a whirlwind going on in there. Or that's going to be like very present this month. I do think that in some ways you're trying to like find the peace within yourself or create the peace within yourself. Like really understanding that, you know, um, the outer world is reflective of the inner world and vice versa. So I do feel like you're kind of thinking about that or you're really trying to figure out ways to work with that or work around that. Maybe you're going to be uh, wanting to tap into some more, um, I don't want to say like uh, different healing modalities, but I do think you're going to want to access them, whether that's like sound healing, whether it's yoga, whether it's Reiki, whether it is um, talk therapy. Like there, there's just so much here on whatever you can do to slow down the mind, whatever you can do to not feel as if there's this like whirlwind going around. Because I think it's stirring up emotions. And I really do think that you're kind of like seriously wanting to find some peace of mind right now or just some peace in general. And it's not that I don't think you you don't have access to it. I just feel like there's something that's going to like really push it this month. Next, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Emperor in reverse. So maybe there's these feelings of like not being taken seriously or um, not being uh, 
seen as kind of like this powerhouse that you are. I also think that there's some energy here around the father. So there could be some deep emotions around the father that you're reflecting on. Maybe there's some relevance or something in your life that's mirroring that. I mean, the emperor generally does rule the father or it rules an older man or it can rule a husband or an authority figure in our life. It doesn't have to be male oriented. It could simply be a boss or someone who's like in a higher position in some way or has authority over you. Um, but it feels like you're dealing with this like very interesting value system that's tied to that. And there's a lot of emotional stuff there. I mean, this could also be dealing with some form of like um, outburst, temper tantrums, because when looking at that Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Emperor in reverse, the Emperor in reverse can be very like, it can be a temper. The way that someone is exuding uh, them, the whatever it is they're exuding is kind of um, can feel very forceful or it can feel not very controlled. So it may be dealing with particular outbursts. There also could just, there's something about conversations either around the father, thoughts around the father, um, thoughts around home, like that. that's so strong here. Whether that's origin story stuff, whether it's an actual literal situation going on, Because at the end of the day, with the Ten of Wands here and the Six of Swords in reverse, it feels like you're carrying all of this on your own. Like it, the weight of the world itself is so heavy. Or maybe... Um, the responsibilities that are assigned to you or the things that you choose to be responsible for, because I think that's important to note in the wands. It's the things that we kind of end up choosing to take on the responsibility of. Um, I think you're just ready to kind of like unburden yourself a little bit. And once again, like find some balance in your life. Like I feel like there's, there's really some heavy, heavy house cleaning, both internally and externally that's going on. This could also even be decluttering in some way. But there's something about this whole thing that's like taking a walk down memory lane. Revisiting a difficult conversation, revisiting a difficult circumstance, revisiting something that's been challenging. And it, it, just like the Leo reading, it feels like two steps forward, two steps back. Like there's there's something here that's like there's it's having a hard time overcoming it or like you end up getting to this this sweet spot and then like something happens that moves you backwards or it moves the thing backwards. So let's see what the oh let's see what the um outcome Jesus outcome here is for April. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say you guys have a lot going on inside. Because that has not happened during any of my other readings. Sorry, my sinuses are like off the charts today. Yeah. I think you're really trying to kind of cleanse, purify, and uh, really wash away some of this energy. You could find yourself crying a lot this month, too. Not necessarily in a bad way. I think it's a little bit of both. Like, I think it's like allowing yourself to express something or get something off of your chest in order to find peace because there's so much of this energy here. But we've got the Fool, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I do, I feel like you're really letting some stuff go. It's so fascinating to me. This is so much like Leo's reading. Very different, but also very much so the same. Oh, 
because I do, I think you're wanting to change the way you think. And I think you're wanting to embrace um, something very different and very new. It feels a lot like working on inner peace. And I really think you may be finding um, a significant piece in the puzzle that has a lot to do with your past that may have something to do with where you're going to want to go in the future. Whether that's career-based, I mean, usually the Midheaven is very much so uh, located near the career or involving the career. Um, but I think you're, I think you're going to find something and I think you're going to discover something and I think it's going to take you in a new direction. So good luck this month. Thanks for hanging with me through this and I'll see you next time.